Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Forever Fern for all this, the background, and Timeless Tropical. I haven't used this set for ages. So I used all these five leaves here. I didn't use this one. And I used just this little flower here on Timeless Tropical. Uh, I've just seen that sentiment there. I wonder if that will go. No, it don't. That's why I never used it. And for the happy birthday, I just used peaceful moments and used that happy birthday. Right, cardstock, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. A piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have used the layering ovals to cut out an oval. And out of the bit that I cut out, I cut it down one smaller and got this oval. Right, I have done quite a lot of the leaves here. I've used Daffodil Delight on these two. Um, soft Sea Foam on these ones. So succulent on these ones. Old Olive. No, it won't. It was Pear Pizzazz on these two. And Blushing Bride on these two. And Evening Evergreen on these. I did have three. I need four. Looks like I need four. I need to do two. Oh, here it is. I've got three of them and I need to do another one. I stamped all the, I stamped loads when I made this card and this is what I actually had left over. So I need to stamp another one of them, the flower and the sentiment. So we'll do that first. A scrap of white here. That will do the flower. I've got black memento ink and we'll stamp that down. Yeah, don't need that. With evening evergreen. We will stamp another scrap here. This leaf that I need. And then with our Versafine and this oval, we are going to stamp the sentiment. I'm just going to put that, did I, oh I didn't stamp it in black, I stamped it in purple. Clean that off. Let me get my ink. I'm going to stamp it in gorgeous grape. And we're just going to stamp that just there, like that. Oh, 
Right, that one's okay, so we can put that to one side. We don't need that. I need the die for that one, which is this die. Yeah, and I need the die for that one, which is this die. But first we need to colour that in. Right, I've got two pens. I've got Highland Heather, dark, and Purple Posy, dark. And with the Purple Posy, I am just going to go in the fold bit there and around the top. And then with the gorgeous grape, no, Highland Heather, we're going to do the rest of the petal. I'm just doing it a bit different from the other one. The other one I actually coloured in, in gorgeous grape, and it was too dark. Go over that again, just to blend that in. Right, and that's that done. Now we just need to cut these out. I on. Actually, got it run the right way. Makes a change. One. See if I can find some old tape. in that little bit when I finished. Right. There's our flower and our leaves. side and we'll bin them afterwards. Get rid of the rubbish. Right, I think we've got everything we need now. Let's put that up there. Right. 
All right, we've got our leaves, got our flowers, got our oval. And what we've got to do now is sort this out. And what I mean by sorting this out, we are going to brush ink under there. Not, I'm not putting guard on it. So, with Highland Heather, and my purple brush, I am going to colour this oval in purple Highland Heather. And I've just put my fingers on that. Make it a little bit darker. Who's that in the middle? That's fine. And that's all I did. What I didn't do is I didn't protect this edge here. So I'm going to get another card. And do it again. Because it's gone over the edge there. But don't worry, I can still use this card because I'll make a card covering the whole um, front. So what we're going to do is get a post-it note and we're going to place that there and do it again. Bring it back and check in it a bit more. And that will do nicely. Yeah. Take this off. That gives me my protected edge. Like that. And that is nice and clear. So we might as well stick this down. If my glue is not... It is. I haven't made any cards for a few days. If you don't use it, it sticks up or clogs up. side. Oh, never mind. We'll put the flowers this side. It's got that on. 
ombre effect. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to stick that down first with some uh, what are they called? Dimensions. So And our flower is also going to have a dimensional in the middle of it, just there. I'm not taking the back off yet. I'm going to leave that there. That's so I know where to glue all our leaves. And what I am going to do is I'm going to cut all the um, stems off. Only because it makes it easier to glue them all down if they haven't got stems on and it's not so bulky. Take some of the bulk out of it. To go and pick all these bits up afterwards. This one. Right. And let's sort these out. We've got them two. Where's the other one? Here. Yeah. And that one. Right, these two are going in first, the smaller ones. We're going to put them in first. And the same under here. Once we get these in, we can then put the flower down. So, and all I'm going to do is glue the bottom of the flower, not the top. Make sure they're not off the edge. And then stick that down. And then we sort these out. Right, next lot are going to be the pink and yellow ones. And they will go behind the smaller leaves. Like that. So let's in fact no, I cut these down a bit, that's what I did. bottom section off. This idea for this card by the way came from I think it was Pinterest. I'm not sure. I'm sure it was Pinterest. I'm going to put the yellow on that side. And the pink one, that side. Right, and then these green leaves, I'm putting a pear pizzazz and a soft sea foam on to 
together like that and the same here like that so stick this one in first And that just leaves these two. Now this one I'm going to put sweeping along the bottom. Same with this one along the top. I want that to come over there. And that was all I did with them. Next, I applied a gem. And I have got these from Create an Expression. And that old, the sticky backs are coming off the back. So I'm just going to pop that on there and that is all I'm putting on that flower just the one gem and put my card on the inside which is a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths which I always put in my cards well oh there's my card I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon